Dear friends, welcome to Simple Mechatronics. Now, the first control for the small robot is through a simple wireless keypad using 80 tiny 13 microcontrollers. Initially, the orientation of the keys to make a keypad is planned. This is two pin tactile push button, which is small in size and useful for keypad making. So, five such tactile push buttons are required as shown for the keypad. Now, select a suitable sized PCB to accommodate the keypad. Then, plan the location of each key on the PCB. And, sufficient space for the controlling circuit is to be provided. To separate the wiring of keys from control circuit. All the key connections are planned to connect at one place. So, all the key connections are connected to Berg strips at one place. The center key is connected as separate set, the forward and reverse keys are connected as one set, similarly, right and left keys are connected as another set. This is the wiring, behind the PCB, between the keys and the Berg strips. This is the circuit diagram for the transmitter, the keys are connected, to resistors, which are voltage dividers. The two junctions of keys are ADC inputs, for the AT Tiny 13. A7805 based circuit is used to derive fixed 5 volts from 9 volts battery. A digital coded signal is generated from pin number 6 of AT Tiny 13 based on the button press. A 6 pin ISP port is added for programming the AT Tiny 13 microcontroller. These are the resistors used as voltage dividers for every two buttons. So, the resistors are connected as shown in the circuit diagram. Two pins are connected on PCB, for 5 volts input, to test the key connections. The junction pin shows, 2.5 volts by default. It changes to either 5 volts, or 0 volts, on specific button press. For the AT Tiny 13 microcontroller, an 8 pin IC base is used. The base is placed on the PCB properly, and soldered as per the circuit diagram. These are the two ADC inputs and the two digital outputs. Then, using 7805IC, a 5 volts regulated circuit is made on the PCB. To connect 9 volts battery, a battery clip is used and soldered the ends on PCB accordingly. Now, connect 9 volts battery to the circuit board. Then, check for 5 volts at pin number 8, with respect to, the ground, and also, with respect to, the pin number 4. Then, insert the AT Tiny 13, carefully, in its base, with proper pin configuration. Now, the transmitter board is ready. These are ISP port, RF module connector, 5 volts regulator, and key inputs to microcontroller. The key strokes are processed, by the AT Tiny 13, and sent as coded square signals. This is power indicator LED, and this is process indicator LED. Now, program the AT Tiny 13, using any AVR programmer. Now, this is the simple circuit diagram, for receiver board. The four digital output pins are, for the control of two motors. The five volts are derived, from the main board, on the base frame. The pin number 3, of AT Tiny 13, receives the signal, from the transmitter, then process it, and sends the motor control code, accordingly. So, this is the 6 pin connector, AT Tiny 13, and RF receiver connector. This AT Tiny 13 shall be programmed, using any AVR programmer. Now, match, and carefully insert the receiver board, onto the main board, of base frame. Connect both the transmitter and receiver boards using jumper wires for preliminary testing. This is signal connection wire and this is ground connection wire. Switch on power supply to both the boards. Test the working of small robot by pressing various keys on keypad. Now remove the wire connections. Now, a small set of RF transmitter and receiver modules are used as wireless connection. Connect the RF transmitter module to the transmitter board. Similarly, connect the RF receiver module to the receiver board. 
Then again insert the receiver board on the base frame. Now RF modules are used as wireless connection between the transmitter board and the receiver board as shown in the circuit diagrams here. Now again test by pressing the keys on keypad. Sometimes the small robot may move in curved path instead of straight. This happens due to a small difference in RPM of BO motors. This may be corrected by replacing with same RPM BO motor. But it is difficult. The other method is connecting a resistance in series to motor wire to reduce current flow through the high RPM BO motor. Here 2.2 ohm 1 watt resistor is connected in series for high speed motor. Now the small robot moves in straight line. The value of resistor is obtained by trail and error method. Now the final testing of small robot. Press all keys one by one and check results. Like forward, reverse, left turn, right turn, left rotate, right rotate and so on. Please press like button if you like this video. Press subscribe for more projects. Thanks for watching this video. For more explanation and source code visit Simple Makeatronics website. Links for more projects are available in description below. Bye friends. See you in the next video.